Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Magical Maven. My name is Heather, and today is a reading for the sign of Libra, whether it's your sun, moon, Venus, or rising. This is for December 2019, or whenever you're watching as this is a timeless reading. So just to let you know of the setup, I have your card in the middle, which is the sign of Libra. And then I have one card for each of the 12 houses. So right now I have them all facing me. I don't read reversals, I just go by intuition. So as I go to each house, I'm gonna turn the card towards you and the camera. And I also have a clarification uh, card for each house as well. I do have a few Oracle cards at the very end of the reading, which um, I will go over. So a blessing from the Blessed Bee deck, as well as a few tea leaf reading cards. And then I will be shooting an extended reading. So if you're interested, the details will be in the description box below. Um, so I will clarify certain things and themes that came up in this reading with the Gilded Tarot, as well as these Oracle cards, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, the Angel Answers, and Romance Angel cards. So jumping in. So your first house of self, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So this is actually really positive. So in December, or when you're watching this, you might be feel feeling really abundant. So even though this is pentacles, it doesn't, abundance isn't limited just to our financial state. So, and I'm also getting positive energy with the queen of wands. The wands relates to fire. So enthusiasm, motivation, I'm even getting joy. And also I did hear something about getting crafty. So there might be opportunities for you where you're being resourceful, where you're able to really take the most out of each opportunity. Um, and it's not just, again, business and finances. I'm getting, it could be across the board. So apply this, you know, how to your life, how it resonates, but this is what's just coming up in your first house. And I am hearing something about a door opening or you opening the door wide open. Okay, your second house of finances, we have the five of wands, clarified by the strength. So financially, there might be some money issues that you've been worried about. I'm also getting even consumed for some of you, but it's telling you to be strong with the strength card. Again, going back to your first house where I even brought up resourcefulness. So you might know that you're okay ultimately, but this still, you know, there could be these certain financial issues that are popping up unexpectedly, or it could even be... I'm also getting something about turmoil, like maybe it was a past situation and it's like there might be some financial ties that you're needing to wrap up and you will get through it, you know, just be strong, be brave. It's just, it needs to sort itself out and um, we will get into that in further in the extended to get more details. The third house of communication, we have the emperor and the Nine of Cups. I did hear for some of you unexpected communication. So if this is, for some of you, this could be a divine counterpart, a divine masculine, uh, the emperor energy, or even um, a romantic offer that's coming out. Again, take what resonates um, for those of you who are single, because the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. So getting something you've been wanting. And I'm also getting some something or someone you're wanting to connect with. And for some of you, this might not be about an actual masculine. This might be a side of yourself because we all have feminine and masculine sides. And the masculine side is action oriented, you know, um, goes for, you know, what he or she wants and isn't fearful. You know, this is like a divine masculine energy. So you might be pushing forward and making moves on your own and things are turning in your favor is what I'm getting as well. Okay. So your fourth house of home and family, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So I did just get, um, for some of you, there might be a move in the progress. However, the Knight of Pentacle energy if it's not a person, it's regarding movement, you know, the knights possibly, and pentacle energy is more slow moving. So I did get something about a move. However, it might take some time to settle in for whatever reason. So some of you could even be 
it's like a longer term goal. Like, you know, okay, I want to be out of this house at this time. I want to be in this one at such and such time, or it could be, you know, maybe a lease ending and knowing, you know, planning, okay, once um, this lease is wrapped up, I'm going to move here. And it could be possibly moving in with a loved one, like a significant other, even preparing for a family possibly for those of you who want it. I also did get, it's a possibility, but this could be very, you know, few of you, um, with the Knight of Pentacle energy slow moving, it could be about maybe building a home or a house and maybe that's why it's taking time because it's like you're wanting, what you're wanting hasn't been created yet. So again, take what resonates, but it is a beautiful energy, especially with the four of wands. So yeah, some of you might very well be moving in with someone, getting married, getting engaged, getting proposed to, deciding to settle down. And for some, and I just heard finally. So for some of you, maybe you've been like, oh my God, finally, this has been a long time coming. Okay. So the fifth house, which deals with creativity, casual romance, dating, children. You have the nine of pentacles and the 10 of wands. Okay, so for some of you, again, take what resonates. This is a collective reading, so not everything might resonate with you. So just take what does. I did get for some of you could be single mothers and you need to put yourself out there more. And with this 10 of wands, you felt you feel a burden because I think for most of you, you do take it on gracefully or well, like you're able to hold your own, you're able to get everything done. However, it's like you feel like life would be better with someone by your side, but maybe the partners you've attracted, you know, haven't been an it hasn't been an equal partnership or you feel like I'm getting like the fish in the sea, but like they're all rotten, <laughs> you know, like when people say there's plenty of fish in the sea. So you might just be feeling there's poor romantic choices. So you're just choosing to like carry this on your own. However, I think you're doing a damn all good job of doing it on your own. So again, take what resonates, but some of you, this could be, and it, it doesn't have to just be single mothers. This could be single fathers as well. Because the Knight of Pentacles, even though it's um, a woman in the card, it doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a man. And this is definitely my single independent woman or single independent man card. I just started speaking about mothers because maybe there might be more of you mother, single mothers watching this than single fathers. So again, take what resonates. Um, for those of you in creative fields, I feel like some of you could be, definitely be rocking it where, again, you're trying to really put into motion your drives, your passions, what you're wanting to do, but it's, it hasn't come maybe easily. You know, it has been a lot, but again, you've been managing it well. So it, time management is something I'm getting where you've had to carefully balance, okay, this work and how I make my money and this creative project, if it's not something you do as your, how you make your income for those of you, or if you do have kids, you do have families, you're, you know, you're in a relationship, you're trying to balance it all, you know, so with this creative project, again, like, I feel like it's something gracefully you have handled, but there is this burden, and, but again, with the Ten of Wands, despite him having all these wands on his back, the Ten is a completion of a cycle, so you are getting there, slowly but surely, so even if you feel like it's taking its time, you are on the right path. Oh, and for those of you who aren't single mothers or fathers, you could still be in that energy when it comes to casual romance and dating, you're feeling like there's no viable romantic options. You're just kind of like, um, I'm tired of this, I'm tired of the dating scene, but there's no one maybe worthy or there's not a good prospect to that I would want to settle down with. And that could, and that's just, and that could be your perception. It's not necessarily the truth. So just take, again, take what resonates. Um, I, oh, I do want to mention too, if I'm talking funny, um, it's, um, I'm just kind of getting over, uh, being sick. So I'm hope, hoping I'm communicating clearly, <laughs> but, um, okay. So moving on to the sixth house, which is work routine health. You have the six of wands and the five of pentacles. So the six of wands is a very positive card about recognition and success. But however, you have the five of pentacles, which is this feeling of feeling left out in the cold or, feeling unworthy or lack mentality. 
So in your work or where you're at, okay, this is what I'm getting for some of you. Some of you do succeed in your day-to-day -day job and your day-to-day -day work, okay? Everyone knows you're, you know, you do a great job. However, you don't feel fulfilled in there. And this is where you're getting that lack mentality because despite how good of a job you do or if someone recognizes you or someone says you do a great job and you know you do a great job, like you have this lack because you're unfulfilled. You're not doing where where your heart lies and what you want to be doing. So not all the um, recognition in the world is going to make you feel content or happy within because this isn't ultimately what you're wanting to do. So it's not your chosen field or profession or your passion or your purpose. So we're going to take what resonates. Um, for some of you, I'm also getting some of you might be moving on. And okay, I was getting some about cut the cord, pull the cord. So I'm getting for some of you, you might be choosing to leave this job behind, whether the first part of what I said resonates or not but you're having difficulty because you're worried financially what that's gonna cost you. Like, and some of you might even decide to make a move and make a clean break. And I keep getting like snapping my fingers, but then once you do, just make sure that you're staying strong in this energy um, of positivity and that you're not fearing the worst that you're gonna struggle. Because then, you know, if you attract, if um, you're going to attract what you're putting out there. So just make sure if you do decide to, okay, I'm closing the store, I'm quitting my job, on to better things, just make sure you don't fall into this energy. So just and be mindful of that. And for some of you too, that doesn't have to just mean... Um, work some of you I got it is routine so again like for those of you who okay for some of you I'm getting that it could be also like a, a mask where it looks like life is positive and like again you're able to carry things on your own you're able to manage things but behind the scenes you might be feeling that lack mentality but you're not portraying that so it looks like from the common observer that you have it all together, you got it figured out, but under the surface, there's that. I'm getting, I'm getting pain beneath the surface. So just make sure that you're not repressing anything because that's really unhealthy. Um, yeah, so just be careful of that. Okay, the seventh house of partnerships, marriage, relationships, you have the eight of cups and the five of swords. Okay. Again, this isn't going to be for everybody. So just take what resonates. If this is your situation, but if it's not, leave it. Some of you could be deciding to walk away from a relationship, a marriage or a business partnership because the eight of cups is moving on. But look how in this picture, because each tarot deck will have different illustrations. He's not looking back at these eight of cups. He's just Nope, you know, the past is the past, choosing to move on. And the Five of Swords, you know, this is um, conflict, but in this card, look how victorious he looks. He has all the swords, he's raising it up um, to the sky, and for some reason I was hearing raise the roof. Uh, I just, whatever comes through is what I say, so <laughs> if something sounds kind of funny, but... And yeah, everybody around him is looks like in defeat, but then he's victorious and has the sun behind him. So some of you might have even be thinking this has been a long time coming and you needed to just let go. Um, there could have been some big fight that even ended it. And for some of you, it might not have even been a big fight, but it could have been, I was, cause I was even getting some squabbles that, but it was like, but ultimately it was like a bigger deep rooted issue. So some of you could be walking away um, from this. So again, whether it's a relationship, it's a marriage, or if it's a business partnership, you know, maybe that's for some of you who are deciding to walk away from, you know, that work situation. For those of you that applied, this could be that event. And, but I'm getting greater freedom. So I think that you will be empowered by this for those of you that, that this resonates with. And it might not feel like that right away, but in the long run, this is for your benefit. But I'm, you know, I'm not saying for those of you in healthy relationships, 
you know, um, if that's, you know, if you're in a healthy partnership and you want to be with that person or whether that's a business partnership or a love relationship, that's not you. It's just whoever that applies to is who that applies to. Okay, so we have the eighth house, which is death, sex, taxes, other people's money, and inheritances, occult. So you have the seven of swords and the ace of cups. So I was getting something about wising up. And the Seven of Swords normally is a card, you know, that you need to be weary of because it could be someone possibly around you that you can't trust. You know, look like, you know, this could be sometimes the Thief card. So for some of you, this could be, um, okay, it's weird because I was, I was trying to, I was getting like robbed you of like your heart, you know, like a, you know, like a heart stealer, heartbreaker kind of thing, especially with the Ace of Cups. However... And I was hearing something robbed of your memory. So if you do have someone, which could be like a gaslight, someone who gaslights, because when someone gaslights you, your whole perception of everything, you know, it's like you question your own memories, you question your own sanity. So if you are in the situation, this could be something too, if it was a love relationship or a business partnership. But I mean, the Ace of Cups is like a new beginning, you know, um, whether that's love or something that fills your um, heart's contentment, you know, this cup. And because love doesn't just have to mean romantic love. But for some of you, I think it's like you might have felt this person took that away from you. And again, I do want to mention if this is a romantic partnership energy vampires or narcissists, um, they definitely could control, um, control by means of sex. And this is the eighth house of which partly rules sex. So this could be something too, where they're robbing you of your energy because there was actually a meme I saw recently about a narcissist doesn't break your heart, they break your spirit. So be very mindful if you have someone like this around you because this isn't a positive energy. And for some of you, since this is in the house of death, this could be something coming to an end, coming to a close where you're going to get your new beginning. And that new beginning is probably just within yourself if you've gone through such a, a destructive relationship. And this is where you're needing to fill your own cup. And it's not easy, like, if you've been in that type of relationship. But the farther you get away from that person, that energy, the better you will feel. You know, trust me on that. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, or what else I get from here. Okay, I'm being drawn to the Ace of Cups. So, again, like, I chose this tarot deck for a reason for December. And there's this eye in this card, which not always the Ace of Cup has. So some of you need to open your eyes to this. Maybe, you know, like your third eye, it's your psychic sight, you know, your third eye chakra. And maybe you like intuitively, you know this, but you maybe haven't gotten proof or you don't want to see it. Because again, being in those relationships, you can make excuses for that person or that partner and you're not seeing what's there. So you need to open your eyes. And again, that's not for everybody, but for some of you that makes, um, this is what's coming through. And I'm hearing for some of you, they could have robbed you of an opportunity. Okay, so going, you know, if this is like something business-wise, there could be a situation where maybe something, someone got something over you. Maybe you felt you were robbed, whether you were or weren't. So if it was a perception, but maybe this is something you're needing to free yourself from. And this, because the eighth house also dealing with transformation, because, you know, along with it, again, being the house of death, this could be something where you're needing to let go and drop these swords of what has previously happened and what you feel has kept you from your happiness. Okay. So yeah, this, if the other scenarios didn't um, match up, I'm getting for some of you, this is where it's like this self-limiting thing where you need to let go of where you felt you were robbed of your heart's desire of your happiness. And you need to let that those past situations go. You need to free yourself. And again, you know, I heard free yourself for the seventh house as well. So for some of you, you might be really limiting yourself based on past feelings or heartbreaks or your thoughts 
and negativity. So um, just be mindful of that. So if that resonates, then that's just something for you to be mindful of. Okay, the ninth house of uh, travel, education, you have the Fool card and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, I just heard for some of you, you want to sow your oats. So with this being with the travel and education house, for some of you might be wanting to take a trip. You know, the Fool could actually sometimes indicate travel, um, also new beginnings as well. Some of you might be wanting to travel for a business opportunity, or maybe there's some kind of convention or fair or something that could help you along your path, you know, career, creative. So if some of you, yeah, might be wanting to take a trip, you know, regarding something to do with your business, career, um, creative pursuits. For some of you, this could be wanting to, yeah, sow your oats, you know, you're wanting to travel, you're wanting to step out on your own. So definitely for those of you who are trying to get free yourself from the past, this could be where you're like, okay, I'm going to do something for myself. For some of you, this could be a trip with friends, even I'm getting, like even possibly a trio. So a girl's trip, a guy's trip, you know, whatever. And it was funny because then I was getting like an image of someone like, kind of like putting, <laughs> like not raising the roof, but like, you know, they had their like, you know, like woohoo kind of energy. So again, like I'm, for some of you might be really wanting to like take a vacation where you're just letting loose and having fun. <laughs> okay. So the 10th house of career, you have the Knight of Cups and Queen of Swords. Again, I'm hearing something about emotionally fulfilling. So with this Knight of Cups, I'm getting not so much a person, I'm getting more of the energy of you're trying to move in an, ener like an energy in a direction that's emotionally fulfilling. And with this Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords with that sword is able to cut things out that don't serve her. Or if you know, you're know you a man, it's, you know, take it as, you know, for you, like King of Swords, cutting out what doesn't serve you either. And I'm getting something about a diplomatic approach. So there might be some kind of truth or something you need to discuss with someone. And and I'm hearing push past barriers. So yeah, there might be some kind of talk you need to have. You might be having to set some guidelines or boundaries or have to cut something out, but just making sure you're exercising the diplomacy where you're able to speak community, um, you're able to communicate clearly and concisely, but indirectly, but it's not too cutthroat or too harsh. So kind of balancing that energy. And again, this goes back to you wanting to move towards something that's more emotionally fulfilling. That provides more for you than just a stable income. So then take what resonates. The 11th house of friends, groups, social interactions, acquaintances, dreams, hopes. You have the page of pentacles and the seven of wands. So again, like this could be, like I said, with going back to someone you thought robbed you of an opportunity, this could definitely be communications about something you've been trying to fight for regarding a dream, a hope, an aspiration, something even regarding your passions, pursuits, you know, if you're in a creative endeavor, Okay, I'm hearing some about teamwork. So for some of you, you might have to, it might be something where you didn't, you weren't robbed or you weren't, it wasn't taking from you, but you might have to work side by side with someone. And it might be someone you're not so crazy about. Um, but again, it's like I was hearing teamwork. So that might be something for some of you that, yeah, I'm getting like a mis mismatch. So some of you might have to, to get what you want, you're gonna have to work with this person or people that you aren't fond of. You know, there could be some clashing. And let's see what else. For some of you, this it could be about um, friendships. You know, maybe there, there could be some um, drama within your social circle or friends. But I think with the Page of Pentacles, you're kind of maybe choosing to not get involved with it. You're choosing to kind of be more 
practical minded in the sense of and calm and collected that you're like, okay, this doesn't really serve me. This isn't worth the effort to get involved in all this headache. So some of you might just be like, okay, like, you know, someone will say something to you and you'll kind of, you'll say something, but again, this is like where you'll say it on, in a way that to try to kind of maybe push them off, but you're, you're doing it in a, a eloquent way is what I'm getting. Again, take what resonates. The 12th house, so like the hidden, the subconscious, what we're not aware of. You have the two of cups and the moon. So for some of you, this could be um, a relationship, a love relationship coming in that you're not seeing. For some of you, this could be about a love relationship that you're not seeing clearly, perhaps that you're in or getting involved in. We'll have to look more into the that in the extended. So your bonus card was the Magician and the Seven of Cups. So some of you, and it's funny because like, I was gonna say you could be indecisive and that's actually a common Libra thing um, to be indecisive. And you know, all signs have more positive and negative attributes and that's just, um, so with the Seven of Cups, you might have different options or different things you're interested or wanna do and you're not really sure which path to take, which to choose. So this could be part of that cloudiness too. For some of you, this could very well be in love. For some of you who don't see this coming because you, you're surrounded by options. Um, again, this could be regarding your work, what you're wanting to do in your life or with your life. You might see different options being plentiful, but you just kind of, you know, you're like, okay, you might be uncertain of which one to take exactly. But once you do with the magician, this is like the magician can manifest, you know, can um, exactly what he or she wants. So once you ha like get through this confusion and figure out what you want, then you're going to be able to direct that energy to receive what you want. But right now, for some of you, you might be feeling a little lost, that lost in the clouds feeling. Okay. So the bottom of the deck was Ace of Wands. So remember what I said for some of you, if you're in a creative field or you know, you're leaving a job behind, this is a new beginning. So for some of you, this is a new beginning you know, within your work, career, a new passion project, a new creative endeavor. For some of you, this could be a new relationship. And if it is, it would start more, it would be more of a fast moving energy with that wands, with that fire. So for your blessings from the Blessed Bee deck, so for each sign, I was really just wanting to pull one. However, a bunch more came out. So I'm just going to go over them and again, take what resonates. So the one card, the first card that came out was a blessing for a mother. And the clarification was a blessing for healing. Heal, heal, oh, I can't talk right now. <laughs> a blessing for healing of injury or illness. Um, for some of you, I'm healing. I'm hearing healing a broken heart, actually. So again, going back to the possible single mother theory. Again, this doesn't have to be a mother. You know, if you're a single father and you're more maternal in energy, this could you know be you as well. For some of you, maybe this is you just had a child and maybe you're recovering from childbirth. And maybe that was part of maybe with um, work, some of the changes that were happening is that you just, you know, had a baby or going to be having a baby. And this is kind of, you know, changing things in your life. Okay, I'm also getting to, um, so in addition to possible being pregnant or, ha you know, having given birth or, heart healing. I'm also, for some of you, this could be very limited again. I'm getting some, I did get something about mental illness. And I mean, that could be something as, you know, like anxiety or depression or, I mean, it, so just take what resonates. If this isn't your energy, this could possibly be your, your mother 
or a maternal figure in your life. But it is positive because we are getting the healing card. So some other cards that had popped out was a blessing on your sleep. So again, going back to those of you who recently had a baby, this might be where you will finally start to get some sleep because the baby will start sleeping finally and give you a rest. For those of you who were healing from a heartbreak, again, this could be where you're finally coming out of that time. I was actually hearing dark cloud, so you'll be able to sleep better. Or again, mental illness, if you were anxious, depressed, this could be, again, if you had insomnia, where you'll start sleeping better. Okay, a blessing from your ancestors. Some of you could be um, how it could have been closing out chapters regarding your ancestral healing with this ancestor and this healing. So this could have either been you since you became a mom. This could be um, healing regarding your mom or your mother's side even. So again, take what resonates. If you were working on doing ancestral healing, this is kind of showing that certain cycles are wrapping up that you have been doing the healing work and if you're not conscious of this and you're kind of wondering why something happened in your life look and see if the root cause goes back to your mom or along your mother um, your mom's line again sometimes it's hard to figure these things out um, unless if you're really like reflecting on these matters at hand um, like I I'm very reflective and like there's things that I've actually traced and figured out on my own but that's just how I am and if, if so for those of you who've never thought about ancestral healing yes it is a real thing um, and if you're kind of unsure about that it might be something you want to look in deeper but, but those of you who know what I'm talking about um, this should resonate we also have a blessing for unity where once there was division so some of you maybe you had like a riff, a fight, a falling out, possibly with your mom, or again, it could be a maternal figure, or someone's on your mother's side, or it could be your mo mom's side of the family. And this th this is showing where there's unity. Maybe there's some harmony, there's some closure, there's some peace that's coming. And for those of you that d actually are like, okay, well, that peace isn't gonna come for whatever reason, you might just be finding that peace and balance and harmony within yourself because sometimes we don't have closure with people, you know, we just don't. And we, you know, we have to just be good within ourselves and let ourselves free. And again, like going back to being free. So some of you Libras, whether it's your sun, moon, Venus, or rising, if you're struggling and you're feeling restricted and you're wanting to be free, like this is, I'm, I've heard freeing yourself quite a few times tonight or today. And a blessing for support and I heard help was on the way so for some of you this could actually be maybe someone in your family even who you didn't feel supported by and then they'll step up they'll do something that shows that they do care that they do want you in their life that they are do support you is one thing I'm getting for some of you the support is from your ancestors so if you don't feel like support in the 3d you actually have your ancestors and loved ones who have passed and spirit that is guiding you and that's supporting you so you might want to call on them for help especially with healing this also I do want to mention um, with this healing energy with the green I'm Archangel Raphael is a healer and his color is emerald green so especially if you are needing healing or if you're in that process you might want to call on him as well I'm also looking at the rabbit and I'm getting that you need to nurture and self-care. So again, some of you might be mothers or you know fathers and you have kids and you need to make sure you're still giving to yourself and taking care of you and also, and also nurturing yourself. You're not just nurturing others, you're nurturing yourself as well. And I'm hearing feeding yourself. And fe you know, yes, definitely making sure you're feeding yourself food, but also just feeding yourself in other ways. I'm also getting curiosity and desire, which is interesting because remember I talked about some of you want to sow your oats with this fool, maybe some traveling. Oh, for some of you even, um, it could be like a study where you're wanting to, with that fool, go back to school or there's some kind of study, studying you want to do. 
because again school it doesn't have to mean college it could be I mean like for example I went, did classes for energy healing and was certified in that so it, it, it could be any type of study or schooling or education that you're wanting to and that could be sowing your oats too you're like no I'm you know what I mean by sowing my oats is like taking on this new endeavor or learning a new skill or And then for your tea leaf reading cards, we have crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So again, a lot of parental energy to, you know, in this reading, especially more so mothers. Again, it could be you as a father. Um, and I think that might just be too because I think more women actually watch my channel um, based on what I saw on analytics. So again, take what resonates, but some of you could have, could be pregnant or giving birth, have given birth, Okay, so some of you might be having December babies even. I even heard Christmas babies, so maybe someone will have a child on Christmas um, that's watching or around that time. And you'll be like, oh, my, my miracle, my Christmas present. Um, let's see what else. We have dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So if you are a dark man watching, this could be just your energy. Or if you are interested or involved with a man with dark features. Let's see. So for some of you, this could be this man possibly coming in, but then for some of you, it could be this man that you're leaving. So, cause I'm getting like a door closing, a door opening. So it, again, it's gonna be different depending on your situation because with these collective readings, there's different situations that do come through. Okay, for some of you, it could actually be, some of you might be ending a relationship and then someone else is coming in. But it's not clear on what to do with that yet because whoever, those of you who had someone coming in, this is kind of behind the scenes, not yet realized or discovered. But again, we'll take a look at that in the extended. So some of you literally could be ending a relationship and then meeting someone new pretty fast after so whether the dark man is the one you're leaving or coming in or maybe both of them could be um, dark both of them could be dark even so we also have ladder climbing towards success so again like you do have success in your coming to you with that six of wands the ton of pentacles I think for a lot of you again it's not something that has maybe per presented themselves or really show, revealed themselves to you yet. And again, for some of you, it's about making that decision. And then once you start moving up, you'll attain what you want. And I know we just got out of Mercury in retrograde. So definitely that was a time maybe, hopefully you did your replanning, reassessing, and, um, and now you kind of know where to move forward with, what to move forward with. And then we have Quill, get back to the basics. Um, I'm getting for some of you need to get out of your head with that one. Again, it could be the too many options, and this is where you need to get back to the basics. Like, you might be thinking of every little what if and if or but and step you need to take, and you just need to, like, you know, cut it down to what can I do today? What can I do tomorrow? Like, really practical-minded here. And Seahorse Family Matters. So again, like I said, for some of you, this could be about some harmony, some closure, some resolution in your family, or this could be about ancestral healing. This could be about too, for those of you who are, you know, planning to move or move in with someone, get married, have a family. Those of you who just started having a family. Okay. So that is your reading. So if you liked this video, if it resonated, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, The Magical Maven, as well as follow me on Instagram, The Magical Maven. If you'd like to watch the extended and purchase that, the details will be in the description box below. And like I said, we'll go over some of those themes and things that came up that weren't completely revealed with the Gilded Tarot to kind of look deeper into those situations. And also I will be using the Heal Yourself Oracle cards, the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, Angel Answers, and Romance Angels. And I thank you all for watching, and I send you love and light. Bye!